Hey, it's Sabby here, and I'm back with an experiment to share a new discovery I found using the perfect sphere stroke. I like to test the limits of things and see what something will do if I do this. I like to study the art medium I'm using and see what it can do and what its limits are. So I decided that I want to know what all the brushes look like as a perfect circle, sphere, half sphere, and disc. Knowing this and making a reference grid helps me to construct future VR paintings. To organize this experiment, I decided on a grid format where there are four panels corresponding to the four pages of brushes. And the panels are divided into three columns labeled with different scale sizes because the size you are when making these shapes affects the look of the final brush pattern. I chose the smallest, mid, and largest scale sizes, which are the squirrel, human, and dinosaur size. And each brush has its own table entry. The tables are labeled by the brush name and contain a cross table of the brush size and the shapes being made. This is to see if there is any difference in using a different brush size while scaled as the three different sizes. To learn how to make the perfect shapes, watch the video Tilt Brush Secrets Perfect Shapes which is linked below. Okay, so I started with some of the basic brushes that are not animated, and most were pretty predictable in how they would look. The tapered brushes have more of an open end by default as the brush tapers off. When making a perfect circle shape, the edge of the stroke can be controlled by the direction of the brush. The texture shows on the textured brushes and some of the brush's texture seems to disappear when compressing it into a disc shape. Others seem limited to a circle and sphere shape. I did notice that the 3D brushes did not open up to the disc shape. Maybe it needs more space to enlarge the sphere? I'm not sure, but I was working with about 10 feet for this experiment. Okay, so getting to the animated brushes, all of them were pretty interesting to see in these various shapes. And some were just shocking and completely transformed when they are compressed. For example, the hypercolor brush sort of emits its animation from the center of the disc in this beautiful pulse pattern. I'm loving the light wire brush in a sphere shape. It's very twinkly and it reminds me of a twinkling star. The intensity can be controlled by darkening the color. Chromatic wave looks different in its early sphere stage versus the full sphere shape. Neon pulse is very unique as a sphere in its various sizes. It reminds me of some kind of light beacon. This might work as a lighthouse light. Hmm. Yeah, that looks neat. I like that. The smoke brush really shocked me when I zoomed in on it. It has these hypnotizing waves across its surface. This effect is seen when you are squirrel size and the smoke brush is in disc form. But I feel that the star of the show is the electricity brush. It has amazing transformations, in my opinion. Finding the various animations of this brush was a little tricky. They are either very hidden or too much in your face to be able to be seen. But while composing this experiment, I had to check everything. So let me show you my process with this amazing animated brush. The perfect circle of the electricity brush is an obvious ring of electricity. This is the second transformation I found as an initial perfect sphere shape. It becomes this almost invisible twinkly spray of stars. They are very hard to visualize on camera, but they are so beautiful from in here. I thought, what does this look like as a large sphere? So I started to expand the sphere and was blinded from the initial brightness and threw it away. I gave it a second chance and grabbed it, then shrunk it down and was stunned by what I saw.
If you try these techniques, I would love to see what you do. Post the link in the comments or the Discord that is linked below. A word of caution though, some brushes were a little too intense for my computer to process as a disc shape and it froze up after processing them. The Dots brush, Embers brush, and Bubbles brush are sprite particle brushes and were a little too intense. When I discovered these extreme brush transformations, my imagination went wild and I just had to create some paintings with them. This experiment will be uploaded to Polly once I complete more of the grid with all of the brushes. And I will post the link below in the description so that you can load it in Tilt Brush and use it as a reference or resource. I hope you enjoyed this Tilt Brush experiment episode. And if you'd like to see more on Tilt Brush, watch my new How To Tilt Brush tutorial series and learn new VR art techniques using Tilt Brush and join the growing community in the VR Art Live Discord for live art, entertainment, and content by VR artists around the world. Okay, take care and thanks for watching.